Hi everyone, welcome to the joy of Dwarven painting. I'm Erin, and in these tutorials, I'll be showing you easy steps using Bacorni paints to paint your unpainted pieces to look more like the factory versions. Today, we're going to focus on painting straight wall with pillars from the Dungeon of Doom. If it's a dungeon piece, which means it has bricks on the sides, it follows the same three to four steps. The first step in painting your dungeon pieces is picking out your accent stones. The Picorni paint color that matches this brown color best is Earthstone. You're gonna wanna use a number three Picorni paintbrush or similar sized brush. Take your brush and dip it in the paint and dab off the axis on a paper towel. If you have too much paint on your brush, you'll lose the texture. Don't forget to let the paint dry before moving on to the next step. The great thing about Bacorni paints is it's a high flow acrylic and it dries pretty quickly. So your wait time can be anything from 30 seconds to a minute, depending how much paint you're applying to your piece. Step number two, we're going to be using Bacorni paint color, Deep Lava. If your dungeon wall doesn't have pillars, you can skip this step and move directly onto the dry brush. You're only gonna use deep lava on the stems of the pillars. You may need two coats in order to thoroughly coat the pillars. The next step is using the Picorni paint color black to paint the tops and bottoms of the pillars as well as the arches. And then once you've painted the arches and the tops and bottoms of the pillars, you'll let this dry for a few minutes before moving on to the final step. Basically for all Dwarven Forge pieces, the last step is the dry brush. And what's really great about dry brushing is it really brings out the beautiful hand sculpted detail and textures of all of our pieces. The Picorni paint color that most closely matches the dry brush on the factory versions is Cavern Dry Brush. We recommend you use that. But for a closer version, we recommend mixing Caverns Dry Brush with School Bus in a 3 to 1 ratio. In order to do the dry brush technique, you're going to want to take a big fluffy brush and slightly dip it in your paint. Then get a paper towel and really dry off your brush as hard as you can against the paper towel. Then when you feel like you've gotten most of the paint off, run your brush up and down the piece against the grain to bring out its texture. For smaller areas or smaller pieces with more delicate detail, use a smaller brush. And do this step over the entire piece and then it's done. And there you have it, one painted dungeon wall. Only 300 more to go. Comment how many dungeon wall pieces you still have to paint in the comments below. We recommend using your children, your loved ones, and anyone you can find. You can do it. Check out other videos in this playlist in order to learn how to paint your other Dungeon of Doom pieces. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.